So Clueless Vino is basically a show born from two years ago when I wanted to start learning about wine and drinking more wine. Uh, wine was never high on my list of things to get at any place. Um, I mean, young kid, bro, not kid, but young adult, liquor and beer are like the top two things that you want. Uh, as I've grown older, I no longer have the powers to drink that type of stuff all the time. I feel like drinking is like, it's like, you know how like in the Power Rangers or I'm like, oh, I need these five kids with attitude, even though that's kind of weird. That's a weird specific request from somebody. Um, but that's how, how drinking is when like you're in college, like you have all these powers and nothing to stop you. And, yeah, you might get hurt now, now and again, you bounce back like the next day or whatever. But like soon after you leave, it, the powers just go away. Like they just get bestowed on the next class. That's how drinking is. Like I can't do the hard stuff. Like long, like all oh, the liquors, you know, shots and all that stuff all the time. You know? So yeah, so I wanted to make the switch to wine. Plus, wine is just it, it's an interesting. Is it they have interesting flavors? They have different sex, but like I don't know which ones I like. So I want to learn more and try to figure out which ones I like of each kind. Um, so yeah, this is like a two year thing. So the first year I did it based on Instagram. It was called Brandon Reviews Wines. And they were just, uh, uh, they were interesting. Uh, but that's the time, around that time is when I noticed people would watch them and they kind of enjoyed them. So I was like, uh, that's cool. So I wanted to keep it going. So after a while, I was like, well, why not just get into a podcast? So that's where Clues Vino uh, actually came from. And that's why this past year, in fact, the start of this year is when I actually started. Um, the first episode, and yeah, man, we're, we're 10 in as of this report, um, and I'm gonna keep it going as long as I can, and I just wanted to thank everybody who supported me so far, um, those who have shared, those who have made comments, those who have given me the feedback, it's been really helpful, um, I like feedback, I don't think people understand that as, as much as even with like, I'm also like a writer. So like, I'm always looking for feedback, like how to make things better, what you did like, more important what you didn't like. So I can kind of correct those as we move forward. Uh, same thing with Clues, you know. Um, I, want, I want it to be something that's, that's accessible to everybody. Um, and doesn't, and it's not like pushing people out. So uh, that's why I don't, I don't put like a, a too big a restriction on my guests or like what we can talk about. I, I do want to have like open conversations with people. Um, obviously, there are some things I won't I won't bend my morals to or values to, but there there uh, I do want to have like open conversations. I think that's the most important thing about Clues Vino is that I'm just able to like sit down and talk with people about basically anything. Um, Wow. Um, so, moving forward, Clues Vino, I want it I want it to be a big podcast. So the first thing I want to do, I want to start off local. I want to get, I want to get Clues Vino out. And so, out. How do I put it? I want it to be known in the local area. So I live in the Richmond area. Um, so I want people to know about it. I want people to tune in weekly or however however often I do this. I'm trying to keep a weekly schedule. Uh, it's hard because some people you know everybody's lives and, and, and it's kind of tough to schedule stuff around people's other schedules and even my schedule too. Um, but yeah I want, I want it to be a, a Richmond thing to start off but then I want to I want to hit these wine communities and be like hey I'm doing this podcast. I'm not necessarily a sommelier but I am someone who is interested in wine and I want more people who are interested in wanting to listen to the podcast and maybe get something from it. I know I have to get better at trying to get more wine facts into the show, more wine information, more wine knowledge. So I do want to start reaching out to maybe some people who are more into the wine industry, the wine making, the, the wine tastings, the wine selling, the wine, wine, you know, anything wine related. I want to get more people in here. Um, or it just... And it doesn't necessarily have to be like people on the show, on the show itself, but I do want to do more YouTube content. Uh, maybe I go to like a, a winery and I talk to somebody there. Uh, I do a wine tasting. 
I do like a video there or something like that. I just want I want to continue to do things like that to like expand the YouTube content, bury it that way. It's not just the show, and uh, it's more other things like uh, Dante's Q and Q and A special was cool. People really like that, and I just want to do more stuff like that. So I do have some stuff in the pipeline coming as far as that goes. I also want to do. I'm also thinking about doing like more just separate YouTube content. Not necessarily separate from wine itself, but content where uh, maybe I'm drinking a glass of wine, but I'm talking about a specific subject. So I've always wanted to do like, um, I like top 10 lists. I'll do top 10 lists by drinking a glass of wine. I'll do maybe a how I would, how I would uh, write a hang on on sequel. I want to talk about that in the video. Maybe some anime stuff, maybe some sports stuff, rap stuff, music stuff. I just want to like expand everything I can with Clues Me. I want Clues Me to be the podcast itself, but then like separate, uh, like build down a family tree into other things too. Um, as a writer, I should have more writers on the show. Um, um, you know, just I, I want to do so many things. your help um, we did hit 30 30 subscribers recently so I'm really excited about that I want to thank everybody who have subscribed to the YouTube channel um, please 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 have a subscribe be sure to subscribe and say I have more content coming um, as far as Instagram let's try to get the followers up there so if you haven't followed the Instagram please me know be sure to follow I do post mainly like I'll do family stuff too, so it's like a combined account right now, and eventually I might have to like separate it, but I haven't figured that part out yet. I want to try to get to see how big it gets and then make that move. Um, but I do other fun stuff on here. I do silly stuff. I'm just a, you know, that's the probably the, yeah, I'm just a silly thing. So it's a fun, it's a fun follow, I think, but you know, I have a weird sense of humor. Um, but yeah, just continue to share with people if you know somebody who likes wine, maybe somebody who likes like, uh, quote unquote talk shows or debate shows. Uh, if you know anybody who just likes to hear my voice for some reason, tell them to listen to the show, man. Listen to Clues, you know. Watch Clues, you know. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. And oh yeah, I also want to do more collabs with different brands. Um, I actually bought a few art pieces that I'm going to actually put in the back of here um, so it kind of spikes up the background a bit. Um, I also bought some recent uh, gear um, from a, a, a local brand or an indie band, uh, indie brand, sorry. Um, so if you're, if you're someone, even if it's, even, it can be from anywhere, but Richmond, you know, wherever, Eastern Shore, where I'm from, if, if you have something that you want to get out there to the people, um, let's, let's talk, let's, let's reach out, let's reach out and let's collect and see well, how we can both benefit from the, from the connection. Um, yeah, and I want I like to, I want to do more stuff with like brands, so if you know any brands that want to connect, want to be on Luz Vino, want to have this stuff shown, I can do like small little ads there, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's talk and let's see if we can make it work for both of us, man. Um, yeah. At the end of the day, man, I just want to lose, you know, do something I can look back on and be like, hey, I, I, I made this cool thing that people enjoyed, that people liked, that people tuned into every week. Um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a, a, creativity is like my biggest thing. I love create, I like creating things. I like making things from scratch. And then, yeah, it's, it's kind of like writing, man. It's kind of like writing in the sense that you start off with an idea, you just keep writing until you see where it ends up. And yeah, that's what I want to do with Clues Fino, man. So, I appreciate everybody for the support so far. Uh, be on the lookout for the newest episode coming very, very soon. Um, got Curtis Lopes on there, a big, good friend of mine. And yeah, we, we did some, we did some talk about mental health, man. Mental health awareness month is this month, this month of May. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Um, 
Also, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm doing a giveaway because we had 10 episodes. Uh, I wasn't entirely sure if I would have the, you know, the goal to keep going to 10 episodes over here. So, let's do a giveaway. It's going to involve answering some questions because I'm that sicko that loves that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, so be on the lookout for that. We'll probably give out some like some wine or something. Also, I have a couple things I can give away, but I'll figure that out later. Um, but yeah, yeah, like I said, don't forget like, share, subscribe. If your friends, family, your enemies, you know, they need something to watch too. Uh, but most importantly, don't forget, drink up.